In this movie, I want to look at another one of the interesting new features that is available now in Camera 8 that comes with Photoshop CC, and that is the ability to work with the spot removal tool in a brush spots mode. So we've got two modes now, working with circle spots, which is what we've always had before, and now the ability to work with brush spots, which others might like to think of as being non-circular healing. So uh, let's now look at this particular image and how we can apply this, uh, this, this new way of working. Um, it's a high key image that's been adjusted so far in camera raw only. So we are working on a raw original here. And if I select the spot removal tool, you can see that the options over here allow us to work in heel or in clone mode. Today I'm going to just use the heel mode for the retouching I'm about to carry out here. And let's just zoom in onto this area here in the bottom right hand corner. So let me just make this a little bit bigger. And as you can see in this photograph, we've got here a telegraph pole and some wires. And I'm going to use the spot removal tool working in the, the heel mode using brush spots just to remove these elements. So to show you how this would work, let me just make the cursor a little bit bigger there. I'm just going to click at the top of the uh, mask there and show you, first of all, one thing that you can do, which is new to uh, working Camera Raw 8, and that is if you use the forward slash key, you can ask Camera Raw to auto calculate a new area to sample from. So you can get it to try re-guessing again and again uh, new uh, areas to sample from in case the first one that you try doesn't work. So if I just delete that, I can now show you that if I click at the top here and then hold down the shift key and click at the bottom, this creates a brush spot between those two points where I clicked. And again, you can see that here the uh, red dotted outline shows the area that has just been cloned and the green dotted outline shows the area that is sampling from. And if I want to recalculate that, again, I can use the forward slash key to try recalculating a new position. And basically it's not really changing too much. I think the first attempt was just fine, as is this one. So I'll stick with that for now. If I want to see more clearly what's going on, I can use the H keyboard shortcut just to hide those pins so that you can see how the image is looking at the moment. Now, okay, up here we still got a little bit of mess going on, but we can deal with that later on. So I'm gonna press the H key again and click on that pin to activate it and then create some new uh, brush spots. And this time I'm gonna click and drag and actually paint over the area that I want to remove. So I'll make the cursor a little bit smaller now and then just follow along this line here. And you can see that uh, once more, Camera Raw has auto selected an area to sample from and I'm pretty pleased with that area that's chosen. Let me just now deal with this line. Similarly, I'm pretty, pretty pleased with that as well. Then there's this area in the middle here. Let me just hide those, uh, those um, brush spots for now. Okay, so maybe I might use two goes to get it to, to deal with this. Or maybe even just one big cursor might be enough just to do that. If I just simply click over that area there, that's a pretty good uh, heel, I think. So down here, there's just one more spot down at the bottom for me to get rid of. I'll make the cursor smaller again. I'm using the square bracket keys to do this. So you can use the left square bracket key to make the cursor smaller and the right square bracket key to make it bigger. And then see what the auto, cal auto calculation does there. Press the H key. And um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So, so far, that's a really good, simple retouch using the spot removal tool working in the brush spots mode. The one thing that I would point out here is that it's not really designed to replace doing conventional spot removal work that you would carry out in Photoshop using the spot removal tool or working with a healing brush or the clone stamp for that matter. Now, the thing to understand here is that when you work in Photoshop and you carry out your retouching there, the processor is active and busy all the time that it's calculating out how to carry out the, um, uh, the calculation for matching the source with the clone area that you're sampling to. It, it, that, uh, during that time only, the processor is active and is put under strain. 
And then once you've finished, everything goes back to normal. And so working in Photoshop, you can carry out an unlimited number of edits without suffering any penalties at all in terms of performance. But the same isn't true when you're working in Camera 8, because with every uh, edit that you carry out on the image, and in particular these brush spot edits are quite processor intensive, they're recording a series of, series of instructions, and these are built upon each other, so they're compounded the more and more that you add. There are more and more hard work that is having to go on behind the scenes to calculate the, uh, the final preview that you see here. So if you use it too heavily, then you will find it's going to start slowing down the processing and everything will slow down, not just the speed at which you work with a spot removal tool, but also working with any of the other adjustments that you might, might apply in Camera Raw. But overall, I would say it's a really useful and interesting addition and allows you to carry out far more work now working in Camera Raw 8 without having to necessarily rely on working in Photoshop.